Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be casting this game between Easy and Drian? Adrian? Andreon. These, I don't know, this this name I can't, we'll, we'll call him, uh, is, is that, isn't that, uh, Yusei? <laughs> we'll, we'll call him the guy in the blue, uh, here at 1038, because I cannot pronounce that name, I think it's, uh, probably somewhere outside of the, uh, U.S., Czechoslovakia, I don't know. But anyways, he's gonna be facing off versus Sephiroth Lionheart here in the red at 13 at 98, probably one of the highest rated players at the moment. So let's see who is gonna be taking victory here. So... The player of the red went first, went for a card card D while I was attempting to pronounce that name uh, from the player in the blue. And I apologize. Yeah, I cannot uh, do four names very well. So player in the blue going for a solar wind jammer. He might be playing Karakuris. He might be playing ZW Utopia, which is a pretty nasty duck. Um, it, it technically can be OTK right now if he happens to have the combo. And he's playing uh, either Karakuris or uh, ZW. But... Uh, most oh it, it's gotta be it's gotta be it's gotta be zw's yes this is awesome <laughs> hopefully the face on card is not a torrential tribute otherwise it's gonna it's gonna go bad for a player in the blue but um oh actually this is a new card it is a zw he's playing eagle claw though i never liked uh eagle claw but yeah it can be pretty dirty once it successfully uh pulls its uh you know effect off so you special summon it as long as your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 or higher, and then um, you can target one Utopia monster and equip it, and it gains 2,000 attack. And then uh, when the equipped monster is targeted for a trap, oh, let me scroll down. Um, once per turn, while this card is equipped to a monster, when a trap or trap effect that was activated on your opponent's side of the field resolves to negate the effects of that card, you can only control one Eagle Claw. So basically, when an opponent activates a trap, it just negates it. <laughs> I thought it gets as confusing as possible when it says, um, after it was activated on your opponent's side of the field, and it resolves. So I'm trying to think of what would make it so it would activate but not resolve. So, let's see what our player... Ooh, Anakin Pulse is activated. That's kind of dirty. Does our player in the blue happen to have... No, he does not happen to have a lance. He's going to go for Tour Guide, though. So he's still got, you know, something he can push with. But uh, the thing with one of those ZW decks is you pretty much have, like, one push. And if the one push doesn't go through... You're gonna have a bad time. That one back row. That one compulse because it was too good. I had to get limited. Uh, let's see what he makes. Uh, my guess is he might just go ahead and make like Zen mains and uh, you know play it real defensively because uh, you need a few turns to actually do anything in uh, ZWs. But our player in the blue says GG. What is he gonna pull off? Is, it, is there some combo that I don't know of? Oh no, he's playing Chronomics. <laughs> Man, player in the blue still going off here. Let's see what he ends up making, because I honestly don't know how it make this makes a game. Um, this, he can, can I target it? Like, so. Oh, and he's got Gallus' Star Beast. Man, he's still going in. Uh, let's see what he pulls off, because this is, this is new for me. I like seeing new decks, so he's going to be able to uh, special summon Gallus' Star Beast. Um, you can target itself with this, right? Um, let's bring out... Yeah, he can make it. Seems... <laughs> That that was pretty cool. Uh, so he's gonna take six. Wait. Oh right, from uh, Gallus. Okay, I was like, why do you take six hundred? So he's gonna make it so this card can attack twice. I don't think this gains. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't really do anything. So he can attack for forty-eight plus twenty-one plus eight hundred, and he's at six hundred. Man, that Gallus the Star Beast effect actually, you know, that extra six hundred that made it gain. <laughs> Wow, that's that's interesting. I'm wondering if Chronomaly uh, ZWs are actually viable. Looks like our player in the red was playing Bujins, and he's playing with a card card D. That went back to a uh, OCG build. I haven't seen any with card card D. Uh, unfortunately, player in the red didn't have Yamato, so that pretty much makes it game uh, for uh, Bujins. Like, I mentioned it before, Bujins, if you don't have Yamato or that other Beast Warrior, you have a whole bunch of dead cards. Uh, there is actually a 1900 Defender, I forget its name, but uh, pretty interesting way to... Oh, he's playing Volcasaurus too. So I'm not sure if it was strictly a ZW deck, but you can see he still had options to uh, go for it, uh, even though, uh, you know, your opponent had one back row. That's a pretty interesting way. I want to know if there's uh, some type of combo with the Chronomalies. Obviously, there is level 5s that you can just special summon straight up, uh, especially with, like, Instant Fusions. You can definitely make some use for it. But uh, that was a pretty interesting duel. Um, hopefully, oh, they're going again. So, anyways, I'm going to cut it here for this part, guys, for Duel 1. But thanks for watching. Asian Eyes, signing out.